Hey guys, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And today I want to show you how to get a flash player um, on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPhone 3G. Now this is a much long um, weighted um, feature of our iPod Touches or iPhones. And even in that 3.0 version, um, they still didn't add flash player. This is uh, very close, they're still updating it. Um, it's pretty good. Um, it can tend sometimes to be a little um, buggy, I guess, or a little laggy. And it works on a number of websites, no, uh, not all websites, but it's really cool. Um, it works on like Mega Video and the YouTube, um, YouTube um, desktop version, which are two good um, streaming sites. So you're just going to have to add this source. D.imobilecinema.com uh, and that will be in the video description to your right so where it says read me just click more info um, I'd also like to tell you to subscribe um, so now we're just going to go on to our iPod touch you can add this source to Cydia or IC um, I'm just going to go into IC right now because it's faster And we'll go to sources. And where is it? Okay, so I'll just I'll add it for you. Um, it is. We're gonna do um, custom. We're gonna click add. And it's D. Dot. I. Mobile. Cinema dot com and then you can just click add and then we just click done and um, we're gonna click done again and now we're gonna go back into categories and we're gonna go into the search and we're gonna type in i mobile cinema and we're gonna click search <clears throat> and it has quite a lot of results and then you'll get this package right here which says I mobile cinema for 2.x um, so it probably won't work if you have a 3.0 beta um, so once you install I mobile cinema for 2.x um, then you want to install I mobile cinema um, SB controller um, and what this does it gives you a toggle for SB settings so even if you don't already have SB settings it'll install it for you and um, you can install the Boss Profs one too. This is BP controller. Um, it's a toggle for Boss Profs. So you you should install either one of these because you don't want it to be running all the time. And so yep, once you install um, iMobile Cinema and either one of these two, you can just go back. And if you go to Boss Profs, you're obviously just going to enable it. It's easier. Um, but for SB settings, you just slide your finger across the status bar. And you'll get this little thing. And you want to make sure if it's at the top, it's uh, highlighted in blue. But if it's not even there, you just want to go into more. <coughs> Sorry about that. And you want to go into set toggles. And then you just want to make sure IMC is set on on. And once you're done with that, you're all set. It's enabled. Uh, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to go into my Safari web browser. Um, we're just going to go on to the YouTube version. We're going to go on to the YouTube um, desktop version. So I'm going to go to YouTube.com. And if it brings you up with a page saying, like, um, it uses a lot of data, um, so C mobile version. Um, go down all the way, and it'll see it'll have like C desktop version or something. So just click on that, and you can go into the desktop desktop version. So I can really prove to you that it's Flash Player. I'm just gonna put the camera down for a second because it's um, hard for me to scroll in. All right, we'll go into something really like random. We'll go into like this calling intro FC or something. So we're just gonna click on the picture. Yeah, I don't have any speakers or anything right now with me. Um, so now it'll give us a screen and it'll have a little play button with a circle around it. Now if at any time there's like a slash through that little play button, 
um, that means that it's not supported by iMobile Cinema, so you won't be able to play that. If you have the little triangle or whatever whatever it usually is, um, then um, you you have to like make sure it's enabled or reinstall it. So again, if it's like slashed through, it's not playable. But since it has a nice little play button, we're just gonna click play, and we're gonna flip this around, and it's just buffering. Here we go. It's gonna play. Um, it is a little buggy, so you can't really like um, rewind, fast forward, um, do that kind of stuff. Um, I don't even think you can raise the volume, but it's not perfect. All right, yeah, it's still going. So you can't really hear it right now, but these are both speakers. So yeah, this is the YouTube video with the YouTube version. You can also try, you can also use Mega Video. And you will need this if you're going to like with some of the streaming sites like The Simpsons and stuff. Which I'll be showing, in your di showing you in a different video. Okay, so you can kind of hear that. So yeah, it's really cool. You can actually adjust the volume. In this new updated version, I think you can even scroll through a little bit. Um... So yeah, guys, I'm going to um, exit out and press the home button. It'll take a little bit of time because it's pretty in the middle of something. So, All right, yep. So um, that's how you get a flash player for your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPhone 3G. Um, uh, the reason I haven't done um, a jailbreak on the, th I mean, um, on, how to, on how to get a three po the final 3.0 is because I'm waiting for a jailbreak. Or uh, until the final version comes out. I won't be showing you how to get the final version, like, officially, because you all know how to do that. But um, when the jailbreak comes out, I'll be showing you, like, um, how to jailbreak the final 3.0. It should come out at some point soon, so after it's released, it should come out. So uh, this is iPod Touch for Life 165 here. Subscribe, rate, comment, and I'll see you guys later.